Activities in Alimosha, the most populated area in Lagos State, were halted for hours, not for the wrong reasons anyway, but in recognition of the development in the area. Communities in Agbado, Keodo, local council development area, have started enjoying economic boost following the commissioning of a 5.5 kilometer network of roads, a link bridge, and a primary health care center. This is the Aboro Abesson Link Bridge and roads being constructed when the governor Akiume Ambode visited the site for inspection in November 2016. Communities in the area were cut off from development as a result of the absence of a link bridge and roads. Exactly one year after being awarded for construction, the 480-meter bridge connecting Aboru and Abeso communities and seven adjoining roads still plain 5.5 kilometers are ready for use. Drumming and chants of celebration rent the air as thousands of residents of various communities of Abado, Kyodo in Alimosho troop out of their homes to witness the delivery of the promise made by the state government. Governor Akiumi Ambodi and his Oshu state counterpart, Rauf Aregbeshola, joined the APC national leader and former governor of Lagos State, Mr. Bola Timumbu, to commission the projects. The Network of Roads and Link Bridge project is a response to the cry of the people of Aboro and Abeson communities, who before now were cut off by a gorge between them. As we approach the mid-term of our tenure, our government is determined to increase the momentum and ensure that every part of the state feels a sense of belonging. We owe it a duty to raise the bar of governance and give our people the value for their taxpayers' money. We have demonstrated a great commitment, prudency, judicial use of resources, exhibited a great vision and taken the direction of the leadership of Lagos State to the next level. Thank you. You didn't disappoint us in every aspect. The bridge and network of roads are designed with drainage, walkways and street lights. The people are excited about this development, which they believe will aid connectivity. Now that access had been, had been made available, now that this place has been opened to neighboring to neighboring communities, now that the roads are good, of course it is going to impact positively on the lives of the pe people here, on the commercial acti activities. It becomes very easy if you want if you want to ply your trade. It becomes very very easy if you want if you want to sell and buy. Hitherto, the people people in Aboru had no access here, and they are just a stone throw throw away. We look at them from from afar. But they can they can stroll in here now, and we can we can equally move. And those who are com coming from Abuleg back and pass through through here, we are all happy because it will impact on the economic activity. Even for the landlords, this is an opportunity for their properties to appreciate. So this is a wonderful thing, such that we had not seen is on parallel in this area. The Aboru River itself has claimed more than one thousand people that life has lost. But we thank today that it has become an history thanks to an epitome of quality service delivery. Mr. Akinwumi Ambodi, the governor of Lagos State, for giving us this highly valuable, economically reasonable bridge that links almost 37 villages. To further enhance the new face of Alimosho constituency, Governor Ambode also announced the construction of another network of roads to link neighboring Ogu State as well as improve social and economic activities. The roads identified for immediate construction and rehabilitation are Ikola Road, Ogushaya Road, Oko Feeling Road, Osina to Ilo Road, Ami Konle Road, Aino Aladi Road, and Ayetoro Road. A primary health care centre named after the former governor of Lagos State, Bola Tinubu, was also commissioned the same day. It's a corporate social responsibility project donated by the CEO of Strabic Construction Limited. 
The state government is responsible for the equipment of the facility, which will render minimum primary health care services to the people of Aboru and Agbilikale communities.